Squad, listen, I know what you're thinking. Blue background? Um, you're probably thinking, what's going on? Yes, guys, I'm on the road currently, man. I'm actually traveling right now. So, no, I don't have my, the usual studio setup is not behind me with a couple pairs of shoes. The, uh, of course, the posters of some of my favorite basketball players. So, we're actually on the road, man. But that doesn't mean you stop grinding. That doesn't mean you stop pursuing your passions. That doesn't mean you stop doing what you love to do. And so, family, that's exactly what happened today. So, I'm out and about and I go to a store down here in Atlanta, Georgia called City Gear. Now, for those of you who don't know what City Gear is, City Gear is, I think, the sister company of Hibbit Sports or maybe their, their you know, partnered companies or whatever the case may be. But anyways, I just you know took a stroll over there, man, just to see what they had. And on the table, there was a shoe that dropped today. I didn't even know this shoe was coming out. And I was looking around and I'm like, huh, I didn't even realize that two people had gotten up to the front of the register and were getting this shoe. So I'm like, all right, cool. Oh, oh, wow, that's an up tempo. That's really dope. I go over to the register and I ask for size 12. And the guy says, hey man, he just bought the size 12. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Because I wasn't paying attention, I wasn't keeping up with my calendar, guys. I was like, dang, I really missed the opportunity to have this really dope shoe on my foot. But instead, guys, I was able to get a different size. So I was able to bring to you guys a review. Honestly, you guys need to go pick this up. And with that said, Rebel Squad, video up. It's time to bring that energy. Let's get to it. What's good, Rebels? What's up? It's your boy, Matt the Rebel, man. I'm back with yet another video for you today. Squad, listen, you guys know how we do on the channel, man. Welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel, guys. Welcome to the most lit family on all of YouTube, and you heard it right here. Don't believe me? Just ask some of the other members of Rebel Squad. They'll, they'll, they'll catch you up as well. Also, welcome to the channel. For those of you who have not subscribed and you're watching this video, go ahead and subscribe when you get a chance. Make sure you like and comment on this video, and make sure you hit that bell so that way you are notified every time a video Video drops over here on the Rebel Squad channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, guys, at Mac the Rebel. For Twitter, just throw an underscore at the end of the name. Links to all of my social media, guys, are in the description below. So, family, like I said in the first part of the video, guys, I stumbled into City Gear, man. I'm actually traveling right now going through Atlanta, Georgia, um, and I came across a really dope shoe, man, and so I wanted to bring it to you guys' attention. Legendary 1990s basketball shoe, famously worn by the legendary Hall of Famer, defensive stopper, dunk on your head, won't care, Scotty Pippen. Let's let those lights dim a little bit. We are talking about the Nike Air Up Tempo in its varsity red and white colorway. Let's get into it. Squad, now that we're back, look guys, you checked out the B-roll, man. You saw the first part of the video. You know what shoe we're talking about. Let's go ahead and get into discussion. I'm gonna hold you. The Nike Air Up Tempo, guys. I was actually just out and about at my local city gear, man. Just basically out, you know, hunting for sneakers like I always do to bring you guys a dope review. And I stumbled across this. When I first heard there was an Up Tempo dropping today at city gear, I thought to myself, maybe they have the OG black and white pair. That's actually a shoe I was not able to get on release day because I actually just forgot about it but i would actually like to have that shoe in my collection so i asked him like hey man look y'all got the og black and white pair and you know he says nah man we don't we just got the white and red pair that came out i was like all right bet cool so i go to register of course ask for the size 12 and of course they didn't have it so guys i was able to get my hands on a size to bring to you a review so if you are near a Hibbit Sports or a City Gear or a Foot Locker or whoever carries this shoe. Guys, make sure you go check it out if this is a shoe that you're feeling. Um, it's giving me Supreme uh, vibes without the Supreme lettering and the Supreme logos all over the shoe. Really well put together shoe, guys. So let's go ahead and talk about it. First thing about any up-tempo, Nike did not take any shortcuts when it comes to build quality of this shoe. To me, I actually had the OG black and white up-tempos when I was a little kid in the 90s. And I'm gonna be honest, that shoe, guys, I wore that shoe to death. I mean, I was a little, little bad little kid, so I was running in the mud and going and playing in the dirt and just getting dirty and nasty. And of course, you know, I, I used to love, I, I played basketball. I used to love to play basketball. And of course I hooped in them too. And I gotta say, I still remember, even though I was like a little eight year old kid, but I remember that shoe so specifically. And so squad, let's go ahead and get into this review, man. Guys, the materials on this shoe 
are nothing short of amazing. You have a really good mix of high quality, subtle leather, and a little bit of tumble leather that goes throughout the entire upper of the shoe. Right here, you do have that varsity red and white trim. I mean, that varsity red trim going around the lettering to give that, that, that Chicago Bulls home jersey pop type of feel to it, man. You also have a red Nike check right there on the back. And then you also have Nike logos all over the shoe. So red check right here, red check on the side, red check on the outer sole as well. And on the bottom of the outer sole, guys, you do have red checks at both the air unit and on the foot part as well. So with the air up tempo, this is one of those basketball shoes that does have an air unit going all the way up to the balls of the feet to give you that extra cushioning when you're jumping off the floor, when you're making that extra cut, when you're doing this and you're doing that. This is an ideal shoe for anyone who wants to play the game of basketball. I know that the game has sped up a lot since I was playing it seriously back in you know early 2000s and prior, but I will say that for a guy my size at that age, when I was a little kid, guys, I was a big little kid and I needed extra ankle support. And I love the fact that this, you know, mid top type of shoe, not only does it give you that extra lift and that extra cushion right here on the ankle, but it also gives you a very stylish look too. Cause sometimes a lot of people feel like sometimes like high top basketball shoes maybe don't have that style factor that you want. Like a low top does like a, like a Puma dreamer or, or a Kobe, you know, for example, RIP to the Mamba. Um, but those type of shoes that have a little bit more of style to them, a little bit more flash to them, bigger, bulkier shoes sometimes don't get that same treatment, guys. So the Air Up Tempo, not only is it famous for Scottie Pippen wearing it when he was, you know, killing the game with Mike when they were running with the Bulls back in the 90s, man, but it's it's just a really symbolic Nike sneaker that transcends the test of time, in my opinion. So I honestly love this sneaker, guys. I think this is one of those sneakers that you have to have in your collection if you're a fan of the game of basketball. To the new sneaker heads out there, man, if you guys get your hands on this, you won't be disappointed. Guys, if you need a shoe that has some good ankle support, some good support for your foot, here you go. If you don't, I mean, if you're able to wear the low tops, I mean, do your thing, you get that extra movement. And it's, I think there, it's a little bit easier to shift left and right. Nonetheless, air up tempo is still a great shoe. And there is Nike checks on the toe box. Laces are really well done. So you don't have your traditional lace holes on this shoe, guys. They are actually hooked on right here to give you an ease of actually swapping the laces out, which I think that's actually really cool. I don't think mine had the 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 grips on there like that. I think mine actually had um, just regular, actually, I think mine had the lace loops like these right here. That's gonna be a thumbnail right there. Y'all see that? Y'all see how my hat is showing and my face isn't, but you can see the air. Oh, that's a dope. That might be a dope thumbnail right there. This is the pair right here. Oh, and I love the, I love the loops on the back of the shoe, guys. So some Nike sneakers have the stationary pull tab, but this one is actually stretchy where it stretches out a little bit to give you that extra pull to get your foot in there nice and securely. On the inside, of course, you do have your Nike Air branding right there on the interior. Shoe trees are, you know, your typical shoe trees. And that's mainly it, squad. Of course, you have that red accent inside the Air unit too to give you a nice overall white and red varsity sneaker type of feel, okay? But this is the pair right here, squad. If you're able to find these, man, let me know in the comment section if you're able to find them and get them in your size. These don't seem like they were that limited, but for whatever reason, Reason, they only had one size 12 and the smallest size they had was a nine in men, which was a little weird to me. But nonetheless, guys, box is really simple. I'm not even gonna spend time talking about the box, guys. It comes in your traditional red and white Nike box with your white Nike logos all over it. And there is the tag right there. Tag does read Air More Up Tempo 1996, white varsity, red and white, okay? So there you go. You know what you're getting. In the comment section, Rebel Squad, you guys let me know exactly your thoughts and opinions on the Nike Air More Up Tempo um, 1996 in its white and varsity red colorway. Did you guys hit on this shoe, man. Is this a shoe that you, I mean, are you like me and you ran into the shoe? Like you were just out and about and you just happened to stumble across it? Or did you know this shoe was coming back out? Maybe this is a colorway from the past that you really enjoyed. Um, you guys let me know in the comment section how you guys feel about this sneaker. And squad, with that being said, again, welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel. Don't ever feel like this is a channel just for me. This is a channel for everybody, all sneaker heads, all, all sneaker heads of all walks of life. Everyone is a member over here in Rebel Squad. Everyone is welcome. Everyone is family. And squad, with that being said, man, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I, as I said, links to my social media are in the description below. What are we missing? We're missing something. And family, with that being said, man, it's your boy, Matt and Rebel. I'm checking out with another video, guys. I'll see you in the next one, family, and we out. Peace.